Hello and welcome to the Sonic Mania Sonic and Tails All Emerald Speedrun Tutorial. We are on Oil Ocean Act 1. As with the previous videos, we'll give you a slow walk through the level followed by a full speedrun at the end. So to start Oil Ocean here, you just want to charge the spin dash and then let yourself go. Once you land in this oil pool here, you want to try and keep the momentum and jump at the bottom of that slope here. In the oil, you don't stop and you can't spin dash. You can't even drop dash either. So you wanna try and maintain the speed as you go into the pit here and then just jump back out. That's jumping too late. So in and then jump out and over like this. From here, you just wanna maintain some drop dashes, some jumps just to get over to the next section here. Please avoid getting crushed by these pillars. You can definitely get crushed like that. So you want to make sure that that doesn't happen because it's no good for you. It will happen more than you think as well, by the way. So you just want to jump over into a drop dash, drop dash, and away we go. So sometimes it's better just to wait for the fire and that to disappear. Once you land here, hit the fire shield, fall down into the oil. Keep jumping so you don't fall into the oil and die. Get to these fans and then grab yourself your big ring. Transform. Charge a full spin dash, and then you will run all the way across up to this section. Once you get here, jump towards where the fans are. Once you're under a fan like this, it'll keep you floating up. You can't do anything until you move left or right off it. From here, at the spikes, just jump up over to this section. From here, jump up under the fan again, and then it'll take you up a level. From here, you want to jump again. What you want to make sure you're doing, though, while you're doing that, is that you are actually jumping before the fan. Because if you try and jump too near the fan, you won't actually get the jump and you'll get stuck like this and you just have to come back off it. So make sure you do the jump first and then come up here like this. Move along, just jump up that ramp there so you don't need to take this elevator. Just use the slope in a big jump, away you go. Keep holding right, fans will help put you in the right direction. Fall down here when you see the checkpoint. No need to go for the checkpoint in this route. Once you've fallen down the second oil slide, you want to jump into this section. So we'll just show you that it's First oil slide down here, into the second oil slide, and then jump in this section. Jump across, try and avoid being crushed again. There are two ways you can go at this point. You can take this top route, which will take you to here, and then you fall down. Or, if we just get back up to this section again, you can then come to this section with the tubes, and jump down here, and then jump across. So when you're on the downward slope of the oil there, just jump and you'll land right across here. Avoid the lift. From this little green part, you can just jump up and it takes you to the same location as if you were falling there as well. From here, it's just a case of holding right, avoiding any of the obstacles that are in your way and just heading towards the end of the level. This is the only little tube that you should have to wait on. And then head towards the end of the level. Nice big jump up here and away you go. This little boss nice and easy to do, just six hits on the guy. Unfortunately, he's not even going to get an attack off. And that's the end of the level, so I'll just show you both routes going full speed on this one. So spin dash from the start, away you go. Jump at the right time, drop dashes and assorted jumps just to get you up here. Sometimes you can make it over, sometimes you don't. It's entirely up to you if you believe you can make it. I'm just going to use debug here to quickly grab me another big ring. And then spin dash up. Jump over the fan. Jump up again. Jump to the fan. Jump to the fan. Off the ramp. Following the path down. Oil slide number one. Oil slide number two. Jump to the center route. Straight up. I'm going to miss the platform cycle, so I'm just going to take the bottom route here. Jump across. Onto this section. Jump up as you don't need to wait on the platform. Navigate through the other oil slides over some of these little platforms that are in the way. Wait for that, unfortunately, as we were just too late to get that early cycle. And then away to the boss fight. And then I will show you the other route as well, going up the top. So spin dash and away we go. Into the oil, doing the jump. Into the drop dash. Holding the drop dash, even if you bounce off an enemy, as you will still obtain the drop dash at the end. Making sure you grab the fire shield and falling down. Same issue again, just have to spawn myself a little big ring. Spin dash our way across. Jump. Jump up. Jump over the fan. Jump up the fan again. Off the ramp. Down the first slide. Oh, getting caught in the corner there. So down the first slide, down the second slide. Jump, jump, jump making sure you manage to try and hit a cycle because I missed that there, I gotta wait 
So jump and drop dash after the second collapsible bridge, we jump off. And then the level is just the exact same as it was the first time. And hopefully you make that cycle in time. Nah, we just missed it again because that took a while to go. And then it takes you up into the boss. So once again, six quick hits on the boss there. Can't hit him until the boss music is starting up there. But once he's vulnerable, you get nice six quick hits on him. And that is Oil Ocean Act 1.